Hello again to the best of the best, most ethical light and love crew. I, you're wonderful. Let me tell you that you're reciprocating right now. No, but for real, going nutsoids with their energy, being like stupid with their energy. Aren't they angels of love and light? Aren't they Jesus, Jesus Christ? Are you taking your name in vain too? Are you, because it's, people are being stupid with their energies. I've never been so, like, oh my gosh. I didn't eat anything that would make me, like, feel so, like, tense in this stomach. But, dude, making, like, gnarly burps. Like, Bruh. So, like, I'm, like, trying to get loosen that stuff out but it's uh, dude i told you when i burp even if it's a subtle one i know there's magic being done or when i have to and and there's like massive burps coming out it's just a few days before the full moon in sagittarius strawberry moon super moon whatever you want to call it there might be some planetary shifts, whatever, going on that are very particular to why people are doing this. But they're trying to, like, soften the blow of their karma or, like, stop me from manifesting. Like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, they think that I'm, um, I don't know, that, that I'm accentuating their karma. I don't know. I'm just kind of like loosening it up, <laughs> but like the, the it's funny because the more that they toil to keep me from doing that, they're also helping like loosen it up too, like unleashing the beast. <laughs> so anyway, um, I got notice. Thank you to my love and light crew. You are so awesome. I know that you exist in many realms, in many industries, in many walks of life many age ranges, many dimensions. So awesome. I appreciate it. Our children appreciate it. Our future does. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what, what shirt I'm wearing? It says, let's die friends. I've worn it before. I mean, you could say it in different different ways, like, let's die, friends, or let's die, friends, or, I don't know, what's, what's another, actors, actresses, this is rehearsal, how, how are you going to, how do you say this phrase? Anyway. I think I've worn it before during divination. I don't know. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> Holy smokes. Uh, so, you know what? Um, oh my gosh, my tummy! What the heck? It's okay. We're going to use the tarot of the Holy Light. Um, I think this is previous to when they named it, um, oh, look, justice is coming for you. Um, uh, tarot, or holy light tarot. Like, they shifted a few things. I don't know. Um, but we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this. Oh, oh, let's see if I'm getting, like, too hot and riled up here. So, where's the queen of swords here? You know what? Let's shuffle it first. Let's shuffle. Oh, what do you want to show yourself? It's a Ten of Swords um, opening up to the Two of Swords. Oh, there's a deflection. You know, there's um, Ten of Swords coming in, like, almost as a very personal, like, like, phew, like, a lot of them, like, all focused energy to cause massive destruction to me. But then, look what we have here. The all-seeing eye, as above, so below, is arming me. Like, that's how I knew. Mm-hmm. This is worldly. Mm -hmm. Very healing energy. They're going to protect the healer. Mm -hmm. from, from the healer of the above and the below. Mm -hmm. 
so it's blocked. Like, eh, eh, no. You know what happens after that? They ricochet off the swords. Already, because you know when the when the two of swords normally is um, shown, it's an X. Mm -hmm. It's an X, and so it's flung. It's deflected, and it goes back. It goes back. You know how strong that ricochet is? Think about a ping pong ball. And think about it in its spiritual sense. Holy smokes. So what I'm feeling isn't even the full impact of what they intend. It's just like, you know, wearing a bulletproof vest. And you, like, you feel the impact of it. But there's no penetration. <laughs> Yeah, it might knock you down a little bit. Like, you might feel the impact, but... Woo! Goodness gracious. So, it's kind of like a bulletproof vest, but um, it, go, it goes back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is by a group. They're using um, dark... Um, angelic forces or they're you know try to trying to lure angelic forces um into darkness doing like they're, they're trying to convince i don't know what the frick that is but it's trying to like because you can't fool the angels you know like they see Hmm. What are they using in here then? I don't know what they're using. It's some sort of like a talisman activated act activated activated by um uh like some kind of cosmic angel type of energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's like gilded, like it's robotic almost, you know? Mm, I don't know, man. But dude, if the, the divine, the ultimate source <laughs> has my back. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> it's like. Like, I worked out a lot. And I, I went to the gym yesterday, but I did not work on my abs. I worked on my legs. To, for starters. Yeah. That's it. Alright. Ooh, we have the star card facing judgment. Yeah, they said, by our little storyline, do what you're doing, Tina. Yeah. Like just keep moving on. Like you're you're destined. You're you're a star. You're already on stage. Hello. Hi everybody. <laughs> my my most ethicals. Love it. This is wonderful. Yeah. So go on your merry way. I did a little bit of cleaning today a bit um i just have to keep like chiseling away at it and like stuff like this is going to help me get moving you know i i like being forced to be kind of like a dude sometimes like i am entitled to get these burps out like shamelessly yeah no yeah so can't kill the messenger hmm can't scold the messenger I'm just sh I'm sharing with you <laughs> okay enough of that but this is good stuff I mean this is, I just have good karma. People don't like that. Whatever. Okay. 
Let me see if my feelings are just getting in the way and just I'm just talking out of like my head. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where are you, Queen of Swords? We shall find out the truth of the matter. Hmm. What is it? Where are you? I must know. Queen of Swords, where? Oh, no, that's just this. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords, where are you? Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, Whew. you know where the Empress is? Between the Ten of Cups and the Lover's Card upright. No wonder people are coming after me. Frickin' nutsoids. <laughs> oh, Queen of Swords. Ah, is in reversal. Um, In front of her is a Page of Swords and behind her is a Tarot of the Holy Light. Um, Invite card from the authors. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So subconsciously, beneath the surface. Hmm. We're just like in learning mode. But because of that, it's almost like, hmm. In the back of our mind, um, we're, um, oh. Excuse me. See, I told you. Um, we're just um, like preparing for like a welcoming, like an opening up of energies. Just um, of the greats, basically, here. Like who we're inspired by. So it's like when, when you think of the greats, um, you, you're automatically um, compelled to kind of follow along the same lines of motivation. Mm. You know, where your focus should be at. Um, and so, mimicking that. But also, like, while we're doing that, there's people who, like, want to come, like, first in line, like, right before us, like, I did this, like, trying to claim it. Do you see that? Right in front of that? Like, trying to claim stakes. But we let them do whatever. I like, do whatever. Whatever, you know? Um, what's before that, though? Before the Page of Cups. The ma- The ma- Yeah, the Magus. <laughs> the little maggot. Just kidding. Um, the, um, Magician in Reverse. Yeah, so there's, like, um, dark magic being done. Like, very unscrupulous, unethical magic being done in order to attempt to ch achieve this for sure and like they think that like the aesthetics like the um that they're gonna get in based on like they're trying to fool other people i don't know like higher ups or something i don't know what's behind mm -hmm. People are so foolish. Okay, what's in front of the magician in reverse? Ten of Cups. <sighs> but no matter what, they're surrounded by our en our energy. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, like, there's, you know, also those that are learning from us, you know. There are there are good people out there, let me tell you. And despite the good people, there's also like like people who are fighting dirty. Yeah. 
and you know so there's a mix of energies here because um there's also undercover magic also you know helping me um helping protect me yeah i don't need to say anything more like this is kind of like i'm not supposed to say anything more because eight of wands is in reverse yeah Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just like almost like spell work here. Oh. Heh. Top of the deck is oh, it's a death card. <gasps> Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> I told you when the dragon's given the kiss of death. Bodies are being moved. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Cremated even. Crazy. There's dictator energy energy here. Um, like charming dictatorships, like somebody like who has their own separate network, but there's master number seventy seven between these and the person that doesn't want me to talk partially is because of um it's because of them. There's secrecy here. There's something here going on. Um, but there's not much more that I can say. I'm supposed to say with, re ah, stomach. <laughs> ah, okay. Whew. Okay. So, um, okay. So spirit, let, let's just go ahead and ask now. Okay. Um, what are you going to say to my helpers? <laughs> ah. What do you want to say to my helpers? Okay, one of those is three of pentacles. Mm. Oh, this is harmony in the workplace for sure. It's harmonizing. Um, the landscape both day and night. You're helping create the peace. You're a peacekeeper. Despite the aesthetic value of what it looks like. Or even in spiritual, like, in energetic form. Definitely a peacekeeper. A keeper of the peace. Oh, and justice accentuated. Yeah, for sure. Spirit acknowledges you as um, the peacekeeper. Cosmic peacekeeper representing for Earth and, you know, the sun. Um... The solar system, yeah. Create, dude, for sure. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> this is accentuated. Hmm. This is baptism into fire and water. Hmm. So you can play the hot cold game for sure. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to speak a little bit in code, okay? Mm. You're saying you also have a clear mental agility? Mm-hmm. Mm. That you represent growth. Mm-hmm. That you've grown a lot. That's what the divine is saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you want to say to the helpers? <laughs> mm. I didn't expect that. That's cool. Uh.
Excuse me. Okay, that one. Queen of Cups inverted. Mm. You just know it. Like, you follow your intuition. It's, it's correct. Um, even the subtleties, like... Even if you had a droplet of water in your cup, like, you could drive so much out of that droplet. Mm -hmm. Because you know what that means? You didn't give your cup away to, like, to let anybody else drink from it. You consumed it. See, like, like water is um, basically coming from her. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, oh my goodness, what? Oh my gosh, okay, fine. So we have two of cups inverted, three of wands upright, um, two of swords upright, and page of swords inverted. Um... When we learn about ourselves, um, when we learn more about ourselves, stay in tune with ourselves, regardless of whatever relationships we have, um, it endows us with the understanding of how to, um, create more balance. Um, yeah, because, uh, um, like it creates stability within something about i mean that's that's obvious right but um it's like it ensures we get what we deserve like what we earn but it's also acting like a protective force like nobody can really get to us you know what i'm talking about like if they are present they can never really get to us so it's an added shield that also acts as a presenting like force to our kin as reinforcing their shields. That's what they say, Ed. Mm -hmm. Because somebody's coming personally at us at a junior level. Um, but we're also like, we're stronger students. That's what they say, Ed. Mm-hmm. So, um, two, three, two angel number is strong for us on this one. Um, it's a very directive force of, um, not just taking self-initiative, but, um, uh, this is self-empowerment as well as our, um, kinship empowerment. Um, that's what they're saying. Okay. I have to write this down. Two, three, two. Where are you? Oh, my tummy. Ah, oh, there's a rumbly in my tummy. Uh, I guess I'll use this. Mm. Doing this, but 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 come on, you can do it. Okay, two, three, two. Okay, any last things? Are we gonna get the symbolon um card? Oh, excuse me, that one is five of pentacles in reverse. Um. Um, they're saying that when you do this work, you shall be provided with exactly what you need. Even if it's the bare minimum, it's exactly what you need for that time. So it's not, um, it's ensuring, <laughs> like this is like the insurance plan of the divine. He will be provided for, that's what they say in. Like, so there's no lack mindset here. This is, yeah, you're already insured, already taken care of. Not like as a past tense, but you shall always be like taken care of. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, my tummy. 
Eight of Swords. Why is it Eight of Swords? Mm. There's something about like saying like being where you are is correct because there's almost like a ladder climbing that's kind of natural. It's um it's organic in its um growth pattern. So when it when you have slow growth um that ex that is due to exceed the height of these summed up swords, um you can't get hurt. You know what I mean? Um, whereas if you're, um, trying to kind of escape that lattice, you're due to get hurt. So it's, it's kind of like, you're not really staying put, you're not playing dead. It's just like going with the flow of where we are placed, um, co-inhabiting. And so naturally, um, this growth pattern, like especially it being spring, turning into summer, um, these are going to grow really fast. So time is going to go like so quickly within whatever we're put through right now, whatever obstacle course we're put through. Yeah, the emperor is in reverse. Yeah, so spirit is watching out for us like in the root section, um, which is truly where we, you know, um like in the underworld, um, the undercurrents, spirit of washing out for us, mm -hmm. taking care of our roots, yeah, mm -hmm. being like kind of hands off, it's not going to micromanage, but definitely going to ensure, um, that we are like undercover protected for, um, cared for, accounted for, ah, uh, spirit shall not abandon you, mm-hmm, Abandon us. Shall not abandon us. Top of the deck is temperance in reverse. Again, we see a repet, repet, repetition in um, the undercurrents, um, stabilizing, um, knowing, like, um, tuning into that. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups is in, on the top. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're very well loved. Mm -hmm. mm, seven of Pentacles. So something about being patient with this process. And there's a lot of factors playing into this role. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. You see? Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right, Symbolin. What do you want to say about the energies around us? Okay, look at that one. Ah, somebody trying to flee death, and it is a female here. Yeah, accentuated. Um, it's almost like. She was trying to like cosplay into Dorothy, like kind of like there's no place like home, there's no place like home, like she's the star of the show, or um trying to like I don't know, there's something about like visiting a grave and find like grave site and trying to feel an essence of home or something, or feel there's like a couple of stories here, but um being scared away by the dead like she didn't get the answers that she wanted she didn't i don't know something about disrespect i don't i don't really know there but you'll know okay um okay another one clarifier for that okay um somebody playing chess with different characters someone strategizing but there's a few characters knocked underneath the table which is a fool the ones that are distinguishable are a fool dracula a hooded like devious character and an angel with their back turned and then there's a few others on the top there's less than half on the actual board Oh, maybe this is something about the board of directors kind of thing. If this is work affiliated. Um, 
A few are knocked down from the board. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Some are eliminated from the sounding board. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. These, um, what do you call it? Um, archetypes. Mm -hmm. Whatever those archetypes are represented in there, they're knocked off from the sounding board. Um, that's crazy. Uh huh. So someone bigger, some entity that's bigger, um, is, um, studying these remaining characters. Some people were taken out, like, actually, like, taken out or, like, or just removed from the board. Like, there's something about that here. A clarifier. Okay, so... Mm. Something about... Um, they got actually frightened away from dark entities. The idea of death. Oh my gosh, yeah. Being knocked out, knocked off. The board. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Energies, energies. Oh, it's temperance. Day and night. Okay. So these are the helpers. Love it. Loving it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Both day and night. No, excuse me. A clarifier for that one, Spirit. Oh my gosh, my stomach. Um, this is a ballerina on sh strings, like a marionette. But it's not really attached, you know? Like, I think these are cords of attachment to Spirit. Helping us keep balance. You see? So, we're not really puppets. We're just... They're energetic cords um, that we choose to um, stay in connection um, with spirit. Interesting. Okay. Okay. My energy, spirit. Separate, separate. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Aw, this is emperor energy accentuated. That's cool. <gasps> you know what? I'm on the board. Do you see that? That's so crazy. I'm on the board. How freaking cool is that? I didn't even expect that. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. My stomach. That's crazy. What? Thank you. Okay. Do I get a clarifier too? May I? May I? Um, yeah, this is um, like a high priest for sure. Mm -hmm. um, people come to me for advice or help or to confess. Um, because I'm neutral within delivery. Yeah. And there's sorrow in this person's face. Hmm. Yeah. Um, some of us should be working with pearl or howlite here. Gold, pearl, howlite. Mm -hmm. Possibly howlite. I mean, I'm just adding that for variation here um, as an alternate. But I'm definitely getting gold and pearl. Okay, very interesting. How crazy is that? Holy moly. Well, thank you to my helpers. Thank you to Spirit and, um, you know, that's awesome. Okay, if you if these are just listeners, curious people here, let's go ahead and see what we get here, okay? What's for them? It's a little bonus for them, okay? Oh... Someone that's upset, a child that's upset with a mom's just like, mm, 
You know, so there's two different attitudes here. Um, and these are going to be very different roles. But this is a short path um, when it comes to anger. Um, uh, yeah, that's the primary that I'm getting here. I have like 10% battery, so give me a second. Um, on my phone. Okay, let me just get it situated here. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so anger at whatever degree of um, maturity is always a short path. So um, when we look at anger, um, the manifestations of it, um, it's always going to be an automatic short leash. So regard, um, there's no need for like control um, whenever we experience at any age range um, the realms of anger because it, um, there's no shortcuts in getting your way basically and mediating. So you um, let it naturally diffuse. Um, you know, what do you call it? Self-soothe for a baby? Um, uh, because people, regardless of their age, needs to be able to mediate on their own. At, at that particular boiling point, um, we can't be like those mothers on the polar polar opposite where they're like, boys will be boys, or um, because then you enable that activity. But more so, um, you know, like, what else do you have to say about that? So this is anger management, um, definitely. And being able to mediate, on the other hand, hands-free, but also with cognition of um, how to respond to the situation. Because it appears as though that um, this lady is also in the wrong in, like, you know, like, oh, that's so cute. You know, they're throwing a little tantrum. No, um, um, it's like when a little child swears or, like, says a bad word and, like, the parents, like, make a big deal out of it, you know. Um, like, giving attention to things that, um, are not worthy of credit. Mm -hmm. So, um... Let's say this is um, someone who is an adult, okay, um, or well over the age of an adult. Um, you're not going to um, enable their ways um, that are that don't depict growth mindset. Therefore, when you see that in a company um, or even a grouping, you automatically know that there's no room for expansion, that um, your company is not going to grow with this um, standardized behavior um, because it's not just confined to this individual, but it permeates through the atmosphere. Um, it shows in the work. Um, so it's not just the attitude for the day, it's also the turbulence that's depicted um, that trickles its way into the work, the scene, the um, delivery, um, the other networks that are involved and associated with them. Um, so... Um, But, you know, like, it kind of, like, takes a village. You know, say they came from a village here. Um, far. It seems like farther away, but, yeah, it is far away. So, um, there's that, you know. There's the difference of growth between, like, barren lands and planting the seeds. I think that's where we're really coming from. And, um, the actual growth. Um... So it's understanding that when your toys are broken or things are not, like, going your way. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Because as this person matures, you see the red shoes right there? It also mimics um, what we saw in the first card here. Like, they don't, they, ha they don't have a clear understanding of what death really means. Unless until they're trying to seek their es that essence of home. Um, 
which can be very warped at times um, in its expression. Okay, clarify for that, because so that was kind of heavy. Um, um, so, I think the beauty is in the resting point. You know, um, seeing, um, there's something about sleeping, like there's beauty in letting the, the, um, putting the situation on ice or something like that. You'll, you'll know what it means for you, but, um, do you see what I mean? Like putting the, it's something about, yeah. Like something in dormancy. Um, like a timeout. Yeah, a timeout. Like, put, like when I say putting, some, yeah, putting someone on ice, there's a timeout. Um, because there's something about like, when you don't approve of that behavior, when you don't condone that behavior, um, that it allows them to understand. Um, it's not like an instantaneous thing, but it allows them to better understand, understand what it means to like be a good parent, like, um, to be a good nurturer because you see the clouds and the clouds and how, um, like there's good parenting also like in any grouping. So, um, you know, even in the workplace, you don't have to call something like a family, but like it is definitely um, an intimate grouping where you're spending like eight hours per day plus an hour lunch or whatever um, versus like that's probably more time than you get to sleep. So, again, it's um, pointing back towards that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Time out. Okay. Um, that's, that's it. Um, and you know, you have to really listen to the verbiage, um, provided in that. Cause I'm realizing that a timeout could also mean like a break, like a, um, probationary period. Um, I stop means like completely like obliterated from the scene. Like, uh, what do you call it? Um, canceled, like, um, um, cast it out or, um, like needing to go on vacation, like a timeout kind of thing. Um, so it could mean several things, but, um, uh, I thought I'd mention that part. Um, okay. So thanks very much for watching. Um, um, really helping out. Um, now that this reading is officially over, thank you again for your respect for my time, my space, my energy, and that of our children's. And now that this reading is officially over, and upon closing all portals, I send all energies back with appropriate karmas due, helping initiate the sequence of rollout. Um, the abundance of blessings to follow within whatever degree and polarity, um, that's needed and, um, saw it as fit by the divine um sending y'all back in light and love and close all portals now